Hi, in this video I want to show you a bit of a tutorial on how to make and play custom variants on chess.com. So basically you come over to chess.com and here you can go to play. And you normally play here, but otherwise you can click four player and variants. That'll take you over here. Not to get on your website right now, but we come over here, and here's the four player variants. If you click this button up here, and if you click this, it'll take you to the chess variants. There's a bunch of different variants you can pick from, but down here at the list, you can click custom, and that'll bring you into the custom variants section. Here, you can edit rules and edit positions for anything. So, I have a uh, basic template here. There's a bunch of different game rules you can choose from. So if I want to edit the position, I could just make a silly position such as this one. You can just drag the pawns, flip them around, do anything you want. You can remove them, you can uh, add different pieces. There's a bunch of different pieces that are intriguing, like you know combinations of knights and rooks and bishops and little minor pieces that do different things. And then you can edit the rules. You can mix and match and there's a bunch of different options. This is why I like this website. So if you want the promotion rank to be on a different rank than the default rank, you can have the promotion change to something else. Setup material is uh, how many points you have to use with the setup, zero one setup here you can have nine check whatever amount of check stalemate loses stalemate wins there's a bunch of different pieces here you can or rule sets here you can choose from the if you hover over them they'll tell you what they do obviously duck chess is quite a popular one recently crazy house is pretty interesting overall You can do that and you can mess around with that. So if you were to create a position like this, if you click play, it'll put you into the lobby. And that'll show up here. You can have different parameters for what you're searching for. <clears throat> and you can also watch players or play in arenas. So there's some people playing here. This one's a really interesting one. of different positions that players have made and a lot of them actually get accepted to be official positions. I'll talk more about that later, but for now I was to show you some of the positions I have made. At least uh, to begin with I'll show you the first position that I got that got accepted. And I could queue with people right now, but right now I'm just going to go queue with bots. So, you know, to do that, I would press invite players. Press play. And what I could do, add a feeder to the game. The feeders aren't too bad, but they're typically not going to be as strong as a player. And then press the auto start. Start the game for us. Overall, this position, if you know what Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters is, that was what I based this one off of. Because overall, I thought like the layout of it reminded me of that as you were like putting your your uh, paths to walk down and monsters to use. And overall, we're gonna see the enemy come at us. I'll try to play through this position quick. I have a lot of experience in it. Another 
spent too long here. So this is a fog of war position. You can tell this, the fog kept us from seeing the enemy's positions. But there are a lot of different combinations you can use. So if I wanted to look at the position again and choose the size of the board, I could make it smaller. Or I could make it larger. And I have different move orders here. So I could other options like King of the Hill squares, you can do that. Add more. This is becoming a rather silly position here. You can add <coughs> different bot enemies, so they have stuff like they call them feeders, of course, but there's other ones like a muncher or a checker or a patcher. They do different things. You can make an immune zombie so it can't the pieces can't be taken. enough of this position. Um, I have a bunch of them. And this one, I base it off of, uh, also have this one accepted and it's based on, uh, what is it called? Battleships. to my time controls to set them to 10 minutes, but you can choose many different time controls. I think anywhere from 5 seconds total to just overall up to 30-30. So it's like 30 minutes with a 30 second increment or delay, whichever you choose. So a position like this really doesn't look like normal chess. And that's why it interests me if you're a weaker player such as myself. You can learn tactics and stuff from playing positions like this. Maybe not this one, but other positions you might make. see here I emulate battleships by having fog of war and otherwise these are the pog pieces you would stick into the uh, or the pegs you would stick into the board and you would try to attack the enemy's pieces while having your pieces sort of randomly move about show one more at least because I find it kind of fun and I have it based off of uh, Resident Evil actually so what happens in this position is that you're essentially inside the police department and Mr. X over here is going to come running at you while the zombie come out to try to stop you. And we have to escort our agent over here to the King of the Hill Square, which is hidden behind this area. So you can see I'm using different promo promotion squares here. And try to utilize the pawns that are set in an interesting manner in order to gain some sort of advantageous position before we clear away to the king of the hill. we 
overall uh, a lot of nice decisions you can make and I would show you me making a new position if it wasn't so that I'm really out of ideas at this point. I kind of have to refine my current templates. But if you wanted to submit positions that you have made, you would come over here to social, you would find clubs. come over and you could find a club here and you would search for custom variants of the club. And this is where you would submit all your positions to become rated positions that you can play for rating points. You would come to the forums here. And they have guides on how to do that essentially guide to the new board and edit editor and a bunch of positions that are currently being watched and that's about it